Okay, hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Christopher here. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little different as I'm gonna be showing you how to set up and use the Android Auto app that's comp compatible with the new Sync 3 in the 2017 Ford models. So what is the Android Auto? Well, the Android Auto integrates Google Maps, media, and communication apps from your smartphone and displays them on the touch screen for easy access. This helps you use familiar apps and services while keeping your eyes on the road and your hands on the wheel. Uh, the Android Auto is compatible with only Androids that have Lollipop software or higher. So you have to have the 5.0 version of Android or higher. And it's compatible with all 2017 Ford models that are obviously equipped with the Ford Sync 3 uh, infotainment system. What you need to do to get started, um, obviously you need to have your Android phone and you need to go to the App Store and download the Android Auto app right from uh, the Google Play Store. And you need to open it and connect your phone to your car. You might also need to play around with the settings here and go into the settings and make sure that it is turned on for Android Auto. As you can see here, Android Auto Preferences. And I need to enable the Android Auto um, right in the settings here on the touch screen. Once I've done that, I need to connect my phone to the Bluetooth and plug my phone into the car. Now, as you can see, it's already prompting me to sync my phone to the Android Auto the second I plug it in, and it's just letting me know that some of the services are going to be disconnected as I'm using the Android Auto. So I hit continue, and I just hit agree. And now it's gonna open up the Android Auto um, right on the main screen. And you can accept the disclaimer there. And basically what it does is it sets up my touch screen here right with my phone. So these are some places that I've been to recently. You can see the weather in Welland here. You can see my music. Um, basically just like Google on your phone, it's going to show your sports updates and things like that that you have synced with your Google uh, integration on your phone to me the most important feature of the Android Auto is the navigation so there's different pros and cons of each navigation system to me the Google Maps that comes on the Android phone um, is very good it's always up to date it shows a lot of traffic and construction delays as well um, and really they update the maps very quickly and you can switch to satellite views and different views um, right from your phone. So I like the Google Maps as my primary navigation system. So now that it's in the car, it's great. Um, basically it works just like the app does on your smartphone where you can just search in um, wherever you're going. If I want to go somewhere in Toronto, I can just start typing Toronto. Uh, Mizzou was the last one I typed in so it's going to come up. Let's go to the airport so I can just hit the airport. Um, I really like the predictive texting. You don't have to type in the full address or the full um, route. And I really like this feature too because just like using it on my phone, I can call them. You know, if I'm Googling a restaurant, I can make a call to book a reservation the second I punch it into the GPS, um, which is very cool tells me the exact distance um, one hour 12 minutes from where I am here and it tells me the Google rating and if it's open or not Head northeast on Niagara Street Regional Road 50 toward Aqueduct Street so just like uh, it does when you have it on your smartphone it's gonna give you the voice commands and the voice prompts you can see my next turn here and I can see the map right here um, Tons of cool features. See, I can do the pinch to zoom, to zoom in and out. Um, and I can just swipe to move the camera around there. You can recenter it by hitting the recenter. 
So very cool use with the Android Auto um, Google Maps. You can see I can also find the points of interest that I go to if I want to search for restaurants, gas stations, uh, just like on the Google Maps. It basically takes the Google Maps app and puts it right onto the touch screen here which is what a lot of Ford users have wanted for a very long time. I can also go to the phone menu at the bottom and I can see my favorites here, my most recent calls at the top, and then I can start going through my contacts um, very easily. To make a call, you can either use the touch screen or the voice command buttons. Uh, very neat, the voice commands do sync with the Android Auto. Call mom. Mobile, other, or home? Home. Calling mom, home. So there it is now with the voice commands. It instantly calls my mother. Um, just how, it, how you would with the Sync 3. It's very easy to use, but it puts it all right on the touch screen here. See, there's a couple ways you can make calls. If you don't want to use the voice commands, you can dial the number manually, check your voicemail, go to your call history and see your most recent calls. You can see your missed calls. Whoever you want to call, it's going to be right up there. Um, text messages will also come through on here. If you want to um, reply to a text message, you can use the voice commands and use your presets to reply to a text message there. Um, they'll show up on the big screen just like they do on the phone there and you can read your text that way. As you can see, I just received a text message and it comes up. Here's the message. What's your email? She's going to read you the message. You can press the voice button and say reply. And again, I can reply using my preset messages and the voice prompts there. Another cool feature is it syncs in, um, with your Google Play Music. So as you can see, I do have some Google Play Music on my Google Play app and it automatically transfers them right into the car and I can play my music that way. I can go through my whole play playlist, see I can see my all my songs. You can check the details if you want to like, dislike. As you can see, everything that you can do on your Android phone, you can pretty much do right on the touch screen on the car. Another cool feature is if you do have any other compatible music apps, there's a ton of different apps um, on the Android market for playing music. You know, there's a SiriusXM, iHeartRadio, Spotify, SoundCloud, all the different apps um, will integrate. If they're compatible with the car, it will automatically sync with your Android Auto. So as you can see, I like the podcast and my Podbean app, Beam app has already um, synced up there. And you can use just like the normal app. See, I can go through and find all my podcasts here. And you can play them right through the speakers just like you would on your normal phone. So that's a quick walkthrough of the Android Auto. Uh, there's tons of benefits to, to using the Android Auto over the regular Ford Sync 3. Um, the biggest benefit is the money that you will save. So the 17 Escape that I am currently in does come with um, the Ford Sync 3. It comes on this uh, as standard equipment on this package. However, to get the voice recognition navigation, it's an additional $800 charge. So if you do have a compatible Spark phone and you don't mind using your, uh, your data, you can save yourself that $800 and just use the Android Auto and get a phone or get a vehicle that has the Sync 3 but doesn't have the voice activated nav uh, because you don't need it when you have the Google Maps. Obviously another, another good thing about it is it's personalized to how you have your phone set up. So I like to have my weather updated um, every once in a while. So it will tell me my weather and my nav. It basically sets it up just like how you have your smartphone. Some of the downsides to it, um, obviously it does use your cell phone's data. So it uses the GPS on your phone, 
which uses your cell phone data and your data plan. If you don't have an unlimited data plan, some of these apps can really use your data and um, give you a hefty bill at the end of the month. So I only recommend using the Android Auto app if you don't pay for your cell phone bill or you do have unlimited data on your cell phone. Um, that's one of the one of the downsides of it. Another downside is you have to keep the, the phone plugged in when you're using this. So um, I can't uh, you can't be in the back of the car using my phone or anything like that. I had to have it plugged in uh, to use the Android Auto, which isn't a big deal. But if uh, you're like me, I don't like having cords around, so I would rather just sync it through Bluetooth. Um, so that's basically a quick walk around of the Android Auto. If you have any questions about the Android Auto, please give me a shout um, in the comment section or by email. If you do want to see um, anything else done with the Android Auto as far as other apps and how they work, I can show you how they work on the Android Auto. Just make a request in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.